Hello, finally we meet again after quite some times. It's been a while since my last video and quite busy with daily work because all of this is just simply for my hobby so this one will need to wait when I'm busy with my day-to-day -day job. Anyway, let's start. It's been a while since the last update so this week I just finished my uh, headphone M section for this LA kit. So basically I'm using all Riken RMG 1 watts because I cannot find all the values that I need. So basically I need to sort of kind of doing some modification into whatever parts I have on hand. If you can see here, I kind of combining the resistors in series and parallel. And unfortunately, the design of this PCB is not mirror. So some of the components is not exactly the same position left and right. So eventually, I, I, I'm trying my best to make it evenly distributed across. So at least still kind of neat if you see it from all angles, but still, if you're a bit OCD like me, you will realize both sides are not perfectly mirror each other. But anyway, it's still good. So some of you might be asking why I'm so kind of uh, like Riken. Not so, not quite, it's just simply because if you saw my other videos, I use a lot of silver in the upper transformers, in the capacitors, Arduino Tantalum, Synco, right? So that will create a lot of mid to high kind of a tone. So for this uh, headphone amp, I decided to put a bit more mid warm tone from Recon. That's why I use Recon all the way in this section. So it's kind of some of my friend commenting is like a jet fighter. Well, not quite, but yeah, it, it's quite beautiful, I would say, from few angles. And aside from the right hand, I'm also using the part resistor. This one is 15 ohms. So I modify the layout a bit because if you can see here, actually it is very short distance and you, you can see this part is, is quite long, right? So I drill a hole on the back side. So I drill the hole here and I use my rotary tool to send the, 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 the protective pane on the top of the copper because I need to solder the pin into the, the PCB. So after quite a short work, I finally managed to install the, the pin and solder to the PCB. This one actually I drill wrong hole, kind of stupid because I, I thought it was the straight line, but it is not, right? The line is actually bended to, to, to the, the, the other side. But anyway, that's fine, small error. And you might be asking, what is this? This is the gold pin from Milmax. Should be copper, beryllium copper or something. I forgot. It's quite high quality a pin from Milmax. Yeah, basically this is it. How we see the 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 side of this uh, path resistor. It's quite strong and steady here. This part resistor has another ground wire, which is can be used for uh, shielding. And I'll be connecting this ground wire into the ground on the on the chassis or some other kind of uh, nearest ground point. So yeah, basically this is it that I have for today. 
it will take a while for me to complete the other side of this M, but I think I'm progressing quite well. It took quite some time to arrange this, this Dragon Resistor, but I'm quite happy with the result. So looking forward to see and complete the, the rest of the section. Although again, please bear with me, be patient a bit because this will take a bit more time for me to complete all these amplifiers. So yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.